Welcome to Tomorrow's World Answers. There is a scripture in the book of Proverbs that confuses many people as it seems to contradict itself. Should we answer a foolish person or not? Let's read Proverbs 26 verses 4 to 5 to examine this apparent contradiction. Do not answer a fool according to his folly, lest you also be like him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own eyes. The word fool here actually comes from a Hebrew word that means foolish, or someone who is not acting or speaking with wisdom. In truth, the two statements in this proverb are complementary, not contradictory. The two phrases that end each of the two sentences advise us how we should act in each circumstance. Do not answer a fool according to his folly, lest you also be like him. It advises not to make a reply to a foolish statement that would either cause you to descend to the other person's level of thinking or result in a heated argument for which there would be no resolution. Given the initial speaker is defined as foolish, he or she is not likely to listen to reason, so you would be wasting your time and possibly harming your reputation. In other words, the scripture is saying that some situations are such that it is not worth responding. Jesus applied this proverb when he was confronted by a group of Pharisees who asked him a question, only seeking to trap him and not to learn. They were acting very foolishly and he refused to answer their question after they refused to answer his. And Jesus said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. The second part of the proverb in question reads, Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own eyes. The Bible shows that in some instances, to diffuse a difficult situation, we simply humor the person making the foolish statement, thus avoiding a confrontation which would not produce a positive result. It can serve to show the error in the speaker's statement, lest the foolish one feel all the more wise. Paul provides an example of this proverb. In Corinth, he met some men who claimed to be teachers of the truth, yet were in fact false teachers. They were apparently bragging about their abilities and struggles. Paul exposed them as false. Note his reply. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more in labors more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequently, in deaths often. Paul goes on to show it was indeed he who had been faithful and not these false ministers. Proverbs 26 verses 4 and 5 are not contradictory, but remind us how to treat different situations when someone speaks foolishly. To submit a question for the show, email us at twanswers at tomorrowsworld.org and be sure to watch us online at twcanada.org or by searching Tomorrow's World Answers on YouTube.